Hi guys, so in my last video I talked about a company called EF Ultimate Break. It's a travel company that coordinates group trips for anyone ages 18 to 35. And I went over a lot of different trips and what they have to offer, but in this video I wanted to go a little bit more in depth about how you go about choosing a trip because there's over 80 to choose from so it can get a bit overwhelming. Okay, so first you're gonna use the link below to access their website. Once you're there, you're gonna see in the little top right corner like three lines and you're gonna click on that and then you'll see an option labeled trips and then you're gonna be able to go and see all of the trips you'll be brought to this page there's a couple different ways that you can search trips you can look at their more popular trips under the popular tab you can narrow it down by continent or by destination they offer trips on every single continent except for Antarctica you can choose to go pretty in depth into a single country or see multiple countries or even multiple continents depending on the trip and what you want to see you can also choose by trip type and there's three different types there's backpack standard and ultimate plus the backpack trips are where you're traveling pretty extensively to multiple countries or continents um, and then the standard option which is mostly set apart from the others in that you stay in a mix of hotels and hostels and then you have ultimate plus which is like the bougie version of the standard trips where you only stay at upgraded hotels and you only have one roommate maximum um, and then you'll get a couple extra meals included all trips include all breakfasts and a welcome and a farewell dinner. It's just that the Ultimate Plus may include one extra dinner or even multiple extra lunches. It just depends on the trip. You can also filter trips by dates. You can choose select dates that you definitely can travel or you can just select certain months and then click I'm flexible and then that'll look at whatever month as well as multiple months if you have that flexibility. Um, and that's gonna be under the when filter. And then you can also select trips by length. Um, so the different options for length are either 10 days or less, 14 days or less, 15 to 28 days or 28 days or more. Another option to look at multiple trips would be you can also sort by college trips. Now, what is that? Well, there's actually a couple options for college trips. You could travel with your sorority to Greece and you can learn more about that here. Under college trips, there are also trips that take place during popular summer and winter breaks. Um, and they're gonna be labeled summer break trips and winter break trips. But wait, what about spring break? Well, they actually also have popular trips that are offered during spring break. But if you don't know when your college's spring break is, you can actually look it up on EF's um, online and it'll they have all the colleges listed by um, alphabetically and then you can look up your college and it'll actually tell you what your spring break dates are and then you can click on that and then see what trips are offered during that time so what if i want to relax or i want to have a really high energy trip or i want a little bit of both so you can actually look at activity levels of the trips so you can click on that and it'll give you a brief summary of what to expect on the trip I've been on low activity trips and standard uh, activity trips. Honestly, both were a lot of fun, but I wanted to go on them for different reasons. When I went to Greece, I was with my husband and we both wanted to see some sights, but we also wanted a lot of downtime to relax on the beach. Um, and that was the low activity level. But then when I went to Italy, it was standard activity level. So we did a lot of sightseeing. We had a little bit of relaxation time on beaches, but there weren't necessarily days is dedicated to that so you got a good mix of both okay so if you found a place that you're interested in and you're looking at what the trip entails each trip once you click on it actually has an itinerary that you can view before booking this is where you're gonna click to find them you can see the overall plan on a map as well as a day-by-day -day breakdown I think it's worth reading because there may be places that on the itinerary you've never had a desire to see, but you can actually look them up and say, you know what, I'd actually really enjoy seeing that. And I personally know when I went to Italy, I'd never even thought about seeing Sorrento, but I'm really glad that I did because it was actually right across the sea from Capri. And I never thought about seeing Capri or taking a taxi to get to Capri and it was totally worth it. But on the flip side, you may read about a city and think, you know what, that's not for me. There's other parts of the country that I'd really rather see instead of that. Um, I know personally when I went to Greece, 
I definitely had to see Santorini and Paros. So that actually knocked off two of the Greece trips that EF offer, which is Greek Island Getaway and Cruise Greece Hydra and the Sardonic Islands, because that didn't include both Santorini and Paros. So under the day-by-day -day breakdown in each trip, you'll also see optional add-on excursions, or you may see something like um, free time suggestions by tour director or tour director may plan group activity. And these are totally optional. I personally love doing them because when I go to a country that I'm not familiar with, I feel like I'm going to get more out of that country than if I were to just explore on my own because they can really point me towards things that I never would have even considered. Um, for example, I know when I went to Italy and we were in Florence. Our tour director had a friend who owned a vineyard in Tuscany and she said the day before, hey, they have an opening. Would you all like to go to Tuscany, go and have a private tour of this vineyard and then have a three course meal and try eight different wines. And it was, I think like 20 euros. And so I said, yes, absolutely. So the people who on that trip chose to do that, we got to go, we had private access to a vineyard in Tuscany. We had a three course meal and we each got access to taste eight different wines which ended up being just one bottle of wine split between two people. So as you're looking at the itinerary of a trip, you'll notice that some days have excursions already listed. There may be something like local city tour or popular attractions such as, you know, the Colosseum in Rome or the Acropolis in Greece. And these activities are actually included in the cost of your trip. Um, most of the time they take up about half the day, maybe three-ish hours, and they're typically in the morning. And on those days, the other part of your day is usually free time or your tour director may plan an activity that you can choose to do with everyone else. Um, when you do have free time, you can decide to do whatever you want. Or you can ask your tour director for suggestions or help finding a particular activity like a tattoo parlor because my husband when we went to Greece really wanted a tattoo so our tour director actually called a tattoo parlor set up an appointment for him so he knew that he wasn't gonna get scammed and it was a you know reputable place for him to go or maybe there's a part of a city that you really want to see earlier than waiting to go with your tour group so your tour director could tell you how to get there whether that's arranging a taxi for you or giving you the public transport transportation system and telling you what stops to get off on. The tours through EF are something that you can really customize. I know some people during free time they go back to the hotel and they take a nap because they were up all night. Other people spend that time shopping or some people go to you know museums that we didn't hit as a group that they really wanted to see. It's really about what you want to make this trip. If you do go out on your own, you can always stay in contact with your group because generally you have a WhatsApp group chat, which is basically just text messaging, but it's on a different app and you don't necessarily need to have an international plan. I know when I go abroad, I just rely on Wi-Fi. I don't, so when we're not on Wi-Fi, I'm disconnected. But then when I'm at a restaurant or I'm at a hotel, I'll connect to the Wi-Fi and I can use the WhatsApp just like you would use any texting. So that all sounds great, right? But what do these trips actually look like from people who've actually been on these trips? If you click on a trip, you can actually scroll down and click on traveler photos and reviews. And these are from real people who've actually been on these trips. These photos are taken directly from social media where people have tagged EF and they've then in turn asked the people if they could use their photos. And when people agree, they post them on social media or under their reviews so that way people can see what you'd actually be seeing, what you'd actually be experiencing when you're going on that particular trip. So once you have your trip picked out, you can then choose the dates you want to travel as well as the airport you want to fly out of. If you have parents, roommates, significant others, maybe siblings that want to know where you're going and you have kind of a day-by-day -day breakdown about where you're going to be staying, EF also gives you an option to send them your flights and accommodation schedules. Um, you'll get that information about 30 days out and then you'll have an option to share that out with your friends and family. All right, guys, that was super in-depth about how to pick out a trip and it can be pretty overwhelming to know where to start. So I hope you guys go and explore the website and find a trip that really catches your eye. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. Comment below with any questions you may have. And as always, use the link below to explore EF if you book 
your trip using that link and then using code UAPAGE100 at checkout, you'll get $100 off your first trip. But you do have to use both the link and the code to access the or to activate the discount. Thanks, guys. Happy traveling. Bye.